Hi guys, in this video I want to give you a little bit of insight into how you should be commenting to get backlinks to your blogs. Here is my spam folder and you can see the first thing you'll notice is the author of the first post is called Electronic Dog Training Colors. The next guy is called, or it could be a girl, Golf Range Finder. And then somebody's parents christened them backlinks. Very, very few blog owners with decent blogs, not the crappy spam ones because sometimes they don't even bother checking, but someone who's got a decent blog who carries a lot of weight with Google isn't going to approve them. So the question remains, why the hell are people posting this? And also this, this crap like, you're mistaken, write me in PM. Awesome things here, I'm satisfied to see your article. Thank you a lot, I'm taking a look ahead to contact you. Will you drop me a mail? Of course I bloody well won't. Um, how about this one? Mr. Backlinks from backlinkservice.at, you're a spammer. But the comment is, hello there, just turned into aware of your blog via Google and located that it is really informative. I'm gonna watch out for Brussels. I'll appreciate when you continue this in future. Many other people will probably be benefited from your writing, cheers. Why the hell do people just bother writing that stuff or spinning it and not checking it? Maybe they got, they, okay, obviously, right. They, they do this so they can get hundreds and thousands of backlinks. So they'll spam thousands of blogs and with the hope of getting maybe a hundred backlinks. Fine, they're gonna get a hundred backlinks from really rubbish crap blogs, okay? Why not comment properly and get good quality backlinks from good quality blogs? Simple. Um, I know a lot of bloggers use the Comment Love plugin. I use it myself because I like to reward good quality content. So why these guys are doing this and not doing Comment Love, clicking the Comment Love button, button and getting a link back is beyond me. It defies belief. So what I'm going to do is show you how to comment properly on a blog to get good quality backlinks. First thing you do is go into Google. Um, in here I've typed pregnancy, then in quotation marks, recently posted dot dot. That will bring up a lot of blogs that have caught the comment love plugin. Okay, next thing I wanna cover is, before I go any further, is the whole no follow, do follow thing. Don't worry about it. Really do not worry if a, blog's caught, a blog is do follow or no follow. If you find a blog and you get a comment on it with comment love, you're going to be a link to your blog post. If you've done a good comment, you're going to get traffic from that comment to your blog. So you can get a link, which may be follow, or it may be do follow, no follow. Most of the time with comment love, they're going to be do follow. But you're also going to get traffic. And in the rest of this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. Right, so here we go. We've typed in pregnancy, quotation mark, recently posted, dot, dot, quotation mark. And here's the top one here. So, so we can see here, this has got 21 comments. This is gonna be a blog that's well read. If you find a blog that's a month or two old and it's got 20, 30, 40, 50 comments, then there's a lot of people reading it. So it's gonna probably gonna be ranked well. So get your comment in there. When you do your comment, read what the person's taken time to write. Then go in and make a comment relevant to that post. People don't want to know about your dog and your golf GPS, unless it's a dog and GPS website. In this case, it's a pregnancy website, so hopefully you'll have a blog with, about pregnancy and you can link back and talk about your last blog post or something that they mentioned. Use your expertise to give value in your comments. Okay, so that's that. Right, I'm gonna show you a few other bits and pieces here. Uh, I'm just gonna type internet marketing in here. Okay, so we can see lots and lots of internet marketing blogs here. Great. In fact, you can just say here, um, this guy's got 2,074 people in Google circles. So that's gonna be quite a good blog. I'm just gonna check this. Yep, it's a comment love plugin. Um, there's 12 tweets from this article, so obviously there's gonna be quite a few people reading this. So that might be a good one 
to feature, but I want to do something else here. We're going to go to more search results, and we're going to look at the past 24 hours. So here we've got a post in the last 24 hours. Uh, we've got quite a few. We've got 944 result posts in the last 48 hours. Sorry, last 24 hours. There's lots of sites you can go to there and make a post and get a link back. In fact, as I said, there's 944 that have commented in the last 24 hours. Okay, we're going to go to the past hour. And here, there's 31 results for blogs that have posted in the last hour with regards to internet marketing. Obviously, in a pregnancy niche, it might, you might have to go back to the past week or the past 24 hours. There's a reason for doing this. When people read your blog post, they start at the top, they read down, they get to the comments. People tend to read the first, the second, or the third comment, and then maybe the last two or three. So if you've got the first comment in there, you're going to get the most amount of traffic. People are going to read the article, read your comment, they've got a link to your blog with details of your last blog post. If your title's good, people will read it. They'll click on that link and come to your blog. So not only are you getting links, you're getting traffic as well. So that's why occasionally it's worthwhile looking for something that's recently posted. So we just check this one out here. We scroll down. So no comments yet because it's been posted in the last few hours. Uh, I don't even know if this, this blog is very useful. I'm just going to check the number of comments it's got. It's got four comments on some of the recent posts. Eight comments. So there are quite a few people reading this. So this would be a good site for me to do a comment on. What you do when you want to comment is, as I said, read the topic. So you go, th go through. And I'm not going to spend time reading it now. Um, I'll probably come back to it later. Or maybe not. So you read it. You add your name, you add your email address, and you add your website. Now, with Comment Love, you sometimes get your last article, or your if you're registered on a site, it'll and the settings created within Comment Love, you'll get a choice of last three articles that you can link to. So you can actually link to one of three of your articles. That's a very useful uh, thing if it's switched on. Anyway, so that's how you comment. Use Comment Love, makes life a lot easier. Use your real name and create valid comments. Thanks a lot.